Well, this street, Oxford Street in central London, has the dubious distinction of being known as the worst street in the world when it comes to NO2 air pollution. One of the major culprits is those famous red double-decker buses. They run on diesel. London is uh, trying to get more and more hybrid buses running on electricity and diesel, but for now they mostly run on diesel, meaning they emit a lot of NO2. And a tech company here in London is trying to do more to uh, figure out exactly how bad the uh, air is polluted here in this city. So they have outfitted 10 pigeons with little backpacks. In those backpacks are GPS uh, trackers and uh, monitors to figure out how much NO2 and ozone are in the air. That uh, information is sent back to a lab and it is actually put on a live map online to tell Londoners just how much pollution is in the air in the different boroughs of the city. Here is the founder of that tech company who I spoke with a little earlier. He says their initial plan wasn't to use pigeons. We, we started looking at uh, flying sensors over the city. Uh, it would have been really interesting to use drones, but it's illegal. On the other hand, pigeons have been uh, used for centuries to carry messages from town to town on the battlefield. And so they have uh, little backpacks that can carry uh, payloads. What we worked on is to make the sensors as light as possible. The plan later down the road is to outfit at least 100 Londoners with uh, air pollution monitors to figure out how much pollution uh, can be felt here at street level. But for now, it's up to these 10 specially chosen pigeons to do the job. And this project just now getting off the ground. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.